السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ سورہ نبا سورہ نمبر سیونٹی ایٹ آیت نمبر تھرٹی جس تھرٹی اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم فضو کو فلن نزید کم اللہ عذاب لیٹ اس بگن ود ورڈ ٹو ورڈ ٹرانسلیشن آف دس آیا دیر آر فائیو ورڈز ان دس آیا لیٹ اس بگن ود دا فرسٹ ورڈ فضو کو The fazuku here makes it an imperative sentence because fazuku is a command. Let us break the f- f- word into three parts. Fa, zuk and u. Let us take the first part, fa. Now here, fa actually has various meanings. It can be so, it can be then according to the context of the ayah. Here it is a particle of cause because Because the first sentence is the cause of the second sentence. Like when we say, he worked hard, so he succeeded. So if you analyze the previous ayahs, it, it, it was given that the disbelievers will deny and whatever evil actions that they have done will be recorded in a book, the Lohe Mahfuz. And accordingly, they will get the punishment. Here, fa means so. Let us take the next word, zuk. We have does, done this word earlier, if you remember. I think it was in the 24th ayah. La yazukuna fiha bardam wa la sharaba. Yazukuna has the same root letters as over here. And zuk means to taste. Here the root letters are zal wa qaf. And it means to taste. Now the next part is the U, Vawalif. Vawalif is used for plural form. So the translation will go as F, So, Zuku, You All. Now we will wonder that where does the U come from? We, as in the beginning I told you that it is a, it is a command. So whenever we give order or command, the person is always present in front of us. So, when we will address it as you. Let us take the next word. Falan. Now, this is comprised of two parts, fur and lan. As I told you earlier, that fur has various meanings according to the context. Now, here, this fur is a resumption particle and it has various meanings. So, you can use it as and, you can use it as and so. Now, the lan over here is a negative particle and it means never or it can also mean not not at all according to the context of the verse here we are taking the translation of falan as and never because in previous uh, ayahs we have come across la also which is a negative particle it is used for no and lan mostly it has been used for never And it also indicates that we are speaking about the future. Let us take the next word. Nazidakum. It is an imperfect tense. And how do we know that it's an imperfect tense? Because the prefix na is used in nazidakum. Now this is the same na of the yatan that we had done. Which indicates that the word is imperfect tense. Ya means he or they. Ta means you. Alif means I and Noon means we. So, your Na in, means we. So, always remember that whenever you have this Yatan and because this is a verb, it indicates that it is an imperfect tense. Because in Arabic, we have just two tenses, past and imperfect tense means it has both, either future or present tense. Now, we will break this word also into three parts. Na has already been explained. Let's take the latter two parts. Let's take the next part. Zid. Now the root letters of the Zaid is Zal, Ya and Dal. Zaid means to increase. Let us take the next word. Kum. Now Kum is an attached pronoun and specifically it is a personal pronoun. So, so far the translation will go as Fazuku, so taste, falan, and never. 
nazidukum we will increase let's take the next word illa illa is a restriction particle or it is also called as confining particle we sort of limit it or confine it to something so it is known as a restriction particle here illa also means except and we've done this before next word azaba it is azaban and because it has the two fathatains we know it is a noun and the root letters of azaba ain zal ba it means punishment torment or chastisement illa azaba is except punishment so let us take the translation fazuku falan nazidukum illa azaba fazuku so taste falan and never nazidukum we will increase you illa except azaba punishment so we can frame it in this manner also so taste and we will not increase you except in punishment in some places you will also have in bracket to get a better understanding of so taste in bracket it will be what we what you have earned and we will not increase you except in punishment allahumma la taj'alna minhum o allah do not make us one of these people amin ya rabbal alamin with this we have completed the word to word translation of the 30th ayah please do find time to hifz the surah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh